What is up, guys? This is Ryan Suzy 18. Raw just ended, so of course this is my Raw review. So let's just get this show on the road. I can't wait to talk about the the Rock and slash John Cena promo, but that'll be later on in this video. Uh, we start off Raw with CM Punk coming out, We're getting ready for his match against Daniel Bryan, a rematch from last week on Super SmackDown. But it's stopped by Chris Jericho, and Chris Jericho, of course, says that he's the best of the world that he does, but he then pleaded his case and uh, CM Punk remained uh, unfazed and went on the attack claiming that Jericho is in the Napoleon complex the voice of the voiceless question if Jericho wasn't trying to prove the WWE Universe that he was the best in the world but trying to prove it to himself Jericho continued to claim that he was while he was away with Dancing with the Stars he he, he, he watched CM Punk rip him off yet Punk countered that all Jericho ever wanted to do was challenge him at WrestleMania rather than attack him on Raw. Punk ended the conversation by promising he would remain WWE Champion and the two superstars could have the biggest, great, put on the greatest wrestling match in WrestleMania history. Then we move on in, into the match. Pretty good match. It ended in no contest uh, due to uh, due to uh, the Celtic Warrior Sheamus uh, throwing uh, Daniel Bryan back into the ring as he was trying to escape. Um, CM Punk would hit the GTS, but... Uh, the match was called off. Um, then, as CM Punk went back uh, to to hoist the WWE Championship, he would later be attacked by Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho would then brutally attack CM Punk, uh, put him in the walls of Jericho, and uh, that would be the end of that right there. Now we move on is to Kelly Kelly versus Nikki Bella. Pretty simple match. Uh, Kelly Kelly wins with a very good uh, surprising pinfall on Nikki Bella. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that one. Then we have John Cena versus The Miz. Nearly a year removed from their epic clash at WrestleMania 27, John Cena would battle The Miz on Raw. Before the contest went underway, Miz needed to get something off his chest. The Miz claimed that no one has worked harder than he has, but yet he is still upset because he does not have a WrestleMania opponent. The Miz was fully prepared to prove that he was ready for WrestleMania by defeating the same superstar he defeated at WrestleMania last year. When the awesome one was done talking, the opening bell rang. The two superstars immediately collided. Both Cena and, and The Miz had a shot. At something at stake in this contest. Somewhere, however, The Rock was watching as John Cena's every move. No doubt Cena's style and strategy. For The Miz, this was a great opportunity to prove himself to that he's a main eventer for another WrestleMania. Momentum swings, which were fairly even in the contest, but Cena's offense continually proved to be much more uh, effective following an attitude adjustment and Cena will lock in the SDF for the victory. As Cena celebrated, The Rock appeared on the titron and simply waved his hand across his face, mocking the WrestleMania opponent, and then would act in a way as in like closing a blind and uh, would go off the air for, for a short while for a commercial break. Then we would have is a triple threat for the WWE Tag Team Championship promo and Epico, the WWE Tag Team Champions versus Kofi Kingston and, and our truth versus Dolph Ziggler and, and uh, Jack Swagger. Um, it was a pretty good match. Um, Epico and Primo pull off with a victory. Um, so congratulations again to Primo and Epico for retaining their WWE Tag Team Champions. But after the match, the celebration was cut short due to the Kane's uh, burst of flames. And then him coming out and just chokes them in both superstars. We haven't seen Kane, of course, since the Elimination Chamber, where he fought against Cena in an ambulance match and was... Attitude adjusted off the ambulance and into the ambulance and so so forth, but the big man Made his way to the ring and cleared out the, everyone and gave choke stamps to everyone the person that was pretty much close to closing out uh, <coughs> Excuse me um, uh, Kane was our truth, but our truth would get choke slammed by Kane uh, So that would be the end of that Kane would walk up the entrance ramp and that's it Teddy Long and John Laurinaitis argued over rumors about the leadership of Raw and SmackDown. It was later addressed later in the night that uh, breaking news that the WWE Board of Directors will announce the uh, futures of Raw GM John Laurinaitis and SmackDown GM Teddy Long. So make sure you guys check that out tomorrow morning uh, to find out what the board thinks and who will run both Raw and SmackDown. So check out for that. And then we have Eve addressing uh, the WWE Universe, one week after revealing that she used Zack Ryder, Eva addressed the WWE Universe and explained that she is a woman in a man's world. She explained that she is not, she has no problem using men to achieve her goals. She implored the WWE Universe not to blame her for her natural strengths, and but to blame their weaknesses. 
As she left the ring, uh, she was confronted by Kelly Kelly and asked her what has gotten into her. Eve responded by laughing in Kelly's face and walking away. Then we would have is the big show and Sheamus versus Mark Henry and Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes, um, before the match had started, showed a little clip of uh, Floyd Money Mayweather versus uh, the big show uh, at WrestleMania and even at No Way Out of 08. Um, of course, him getting uh, knocked out twice. Uh, the first time, of course, at No Way Out, uh, while Big Show was on DMC, he threw some quick punches at him. And then at WrestleMania with the, with the brass knuckles to knock out the Big Show. So uh, we could see Cody Rhodes versus Big Show at, at WrestleMania. I mean, it would be a good match. I can't wait to see that. Um, but nevertheless, um, Cody Rhodes would tag in Mark Henry as quick as he could and would run up to the entrance ramp. But but uh, then we have Big Show uh, turning his attention to Cody Rhodes as he left to the entrance ramp. Then, then uh, Henry had a chance to recover, but Sheamus tagged himself in and took the World's Strongest Man with a powerful bro kick for the win. So congratulations to Sheamus and the Big Show for that humongous win. Then we have an announcement that WWE Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels will return to WWE Super Show next week due to the fact that Triple H said that he is better than Shawn Michaels and he can accomplish what he couldn't. And it's the exact same thing that he said um, last year, but could not accomplish it. He was this close, but, you know, he did not accomplish it. Now, moving on to The Rock and John Cena promo. The Rock comes out, um, stating, um, basically what he had said, uh, last year, uh, saying that, that when he, what he meant by by I'm here and I will never leave again, meaning that he wasn't going to be always at every Raw and every SmackDown, that he would he would never leave the WWE, but but of course he had to move on with the his movie his movie career. But um, he would reference some of the stuff like uh, when when The Rock uh, said uh, called him a big fat bowl of fruity pebbles, um, saying that he would use his fifteen. His size 15 boot and shove it up John Cena's lady parts and then people would chant lady parts and and fruity pebbles and uh, then we have uh, the Rock uh, referencing a quote from John Cena from last week saying that that John Cena is fighting for everyone in the back but um then the Rock would reference that that he never he never fought for for other people in a sense he he fought. Basically for himself because he referenced such superstars as Stone Cold Steve Austin, Triple H, Mick Foley, um, Macho Man Randy Savage, uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper, saying that that they didn't need anyone to fight their battles and uh, saying that do you think Cena that that um, I grew up in this business and uh, just to say that I'm don't believe in this business and I wouldn't. Do anything for this business is a complete lie. Um, but uh, then we would uh, have a new uh, phrase. Uh, he would call John Cena a kung pao bitch, um, which is uh, pretty pretty amazing. I mean, <laughs> a new word already, you know. Also, referencing now, I'm going to say is that The Rock now has a new shirt. It says Boots to Asses. Then on the back it says 24-7-365, probably days a year, of course. And then um, also I noticed on The Rock's left uh, wrist or up to his hand he has a new tattoo with wordings on it which I just noticed uh, when he came out um, and then the rock uh, rock would say uh, that uh, with reference that John Cena has changed his attire saying that he went from jean shorts to camo to camouflage jean shorts saying saying that we can't even we can't even see your balls and then as that you're missing balls, I should say, excuse me. Um, then as the missing balls chance would come, come uh, from the WWE Universe, we have John Cena coming out, say, referencing the difference between The Rock and Dwayne. He, say, he said that, he said I, that um, I, I may be missing no balls, but I will give you the fight of your life at WrestleMania. And, um, and uh, saying, saying that, <laughs> that um sorry guys I'm I'm just having a blur moment for a second um saying that uh that the difference between Dwayne is that Dwayne is a cocky selfish uh 
son of a bitch and um and I would just leave and say of course what I said earlier about he will beat the rock at WrestleMania and then uh, he's like I I'm out of here and then the rock would, the rock would say that's exactly how you are seeing you just talk the talk but you won't f fight then um he would say that that he will give the fight to the to to John Cena and saying that that I will fight for the WWE universe and that at WrestleMania Team Bring It will kick your monkey ass at WrestleMania and um the Rock would say if you smell what the Rock is cooking then that would be the end of Raw the Rock would of course go to to the second rope and do his signature pose. And um, now, what do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about Chris Jericho and CM Punk feud going on? Will we see uh, The Undertaker and Triple H at Raw next week? Of course, we'll probably see Triple H more, most likely than The Undertaker. But um, if we do, just let me know what you guys think about that. Um, also, uh, what do you guys think about the new word, come pow bitch? And um, yeah, um, what do you guys think about, again, The Rock and Cena feud? Uh, what do you guys think about... Uh, this this uh this uh battle for the GM spot for both brands and uh, that's basically it for this video guys so let me know what you guys think it down below I'm out guys so uh, I'll be bringing it with another video I'm out peace.